and welcome back to the second session of our Ansible course. Today we are going to install and configure Ansible. So let us begin. Here with me I have three machines, the control node on which I will be installing Ansible and two machines manage host 1 and manage host 2 which I will be managing using Ansible. So how do we install the Ansible package on control node? If you are using CentOS 7, you should be easily be able to install the package using the yum install ansible command. But if you are using CentOS 8, then you will need to configure the EPEL repository, the link to which you will find with the course. Once you have successfully installed ansible, you can run the ansible hyphen hyphen version command to know more about your Ansible installation. Here you can see that the Ansible version is Ansible 2.9.5 and it is also telling me where is my configuration file located. My configuration file is located in hcansible.ansible.cfg and you can also see that it is also telling me my Python version which is 3.6.8 because Ansible uses Python in the background. We also need to ensure that control node and the manage host machines are on the same network. Once we are sure that the machines are on the same network, they are able to ping each other, we need to create a SSH key based authentication between them. After creating an SSH key based authentication, you should be easily able to login into these machines without giving any password. Now the next step is to configure our, configure our inventory file as per our requirement. So if I go, if I try to open my configuration file which is vim hc ansible ansible.cfg this tells me that the location for my inventory file is this hc ansible host so i can close this i can go to my host file which is hc ansible host i will log in i will open this file give the password and here you see that we have entered two ip addresses these ip addresses are of manage host 1 and manage host 2 you can also enter host names if you want to enter host names. I prefer working with IP addresses, so I have entered IP addresses. We can now close this. Now, once you have successfully entered the IP addresses into the inventory file, we can start using Ansible. Before we actually come to any kind of a practical, we need to understand some basic things. In Linux you have commands, in Ansible you have modules and these modules can be used to perform different kinds of actions. Let us take a simple example. In Linux we have the user add command to create a user and the user del command to delete a user. In the same way in Ansible you have a module known as the user module. The user module can be used to create, edit and delete users. As we keep continuing with the course, you will get to know the different modules that are available in Ansible and how we can use them. But for your information, we currently have more than 2500 modules available in Ansible and this list is constantly updating. In Linux, when we want to find information about a particular command, we open the man page for that command. The same way in Ansible, if you need to find information about a particular module, you can open the documentation for that module and the documentation you can open by typing ansible hyphen doc space your module name, whatever the, your module is called. So for example, we have a very simple module in ansible which is called the ping module which like the ping command in Linux is used to check the connection between multiple machines. So if I do a ansible-doc-ping, 
this opens the documentation for the ping module and I can read this documentation to find more information about this particular module. But how do we execute a module? That is the next part, right? We need to find out how to run a module in Ansible. The method or the syntax for running a module in Ansible is Ansible space the IP address of the machine that you want to run the module on space hyphen M hyphen M stands for module and space the name of the module. So let's say ping. So here I can replace this with the IP address which is 10.0.0.2 which is the IP address of managed host 1. I press enter and you can see that I get a message here. I get a success message which means that my Ansible module has successfully been executed. I get a changed is false and a ping is pong. Changed is false here means that Ansible has successfully executed the module but no change has been made on the remote machine or the client machine or the managed host. Ping we got the response as pong because that is a default response of the ping module. We can check this by doing ansible hyphen doc space ping and you see that it says that the default uh, output is pong and we can change this output using the data parameter. So how do we change the output using the data parameter? Let me show you. So you can do the same command but you can type hyphen a space in single quotes or double quotes you can type data your parameter and the value so data equals to hello let's say so now when I run this I do not get pong I get hello and just to clarify if I run it without this I get pong so now I hope that the basics of using an Ansible module of executing an Ansible module in an environment are clear to you. The next thing that we will do is we will see how can I configure my inventory file to make it much better and what kind of different basic modules are available such as creating files, creating directories, installing packages, starting, restarting or stopping services. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.